Hi everyone. Who have we got joining us today? We're a bit later today. Normally we do classes about lunchtime, afternoon. Well, we've got three people. We've got Claire, Jennifer. Hi, can one of you just comment? Make sure you can see us, hear us okay. Make sure we're all up and running. April, Danielle. Just give me a comment so I know we're working. Thank you. Right. That should be all good to go. Thank you for that. So, hi everyone. Um, we've got a live baby yoga class today. Uh, it's a bit later. I know a few of you wanted evening classes, so here you go. Um, we've got Roxanne Hodgson from the Little Sensory Co. She's going to talk you through a baby yoga class, so please take part. If your baby's not been born yet, you can still watch it, get some ideas for when he or she are here. Um, you will need to be wearing something comfortable just for yourself, something soft for your baby to lay on, if you've got a yoga mat, a towel, something like that. Um, if you've got a muslin cloth or a sensory scarf for the sing-along part, um, Roxanne, if there's anything else that I've not said, please feel free to let them know when it's over to you. But yeah. otherwise, um, just enjoy. If you've got any questions as we go along, as usual, put them in the comments and I can ask Roxanne for you. But yeah, over to you, Roxanne. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, so like Jade said, I'm Roxanne from the Little Sensory Company. So I run um, baby yoga and baby massage classes. So today is just, it's just a little bit of an insight into what we do um, during our yoga classes. I do have to say, just make sure that if you are joining in today that you've had your six week check just so that you are fully healed. Um, but like Jade said, if you are still pregnant, feel free to take ideas from this today as well. So I just want to make sure that everyone can see the map before I go over there. Is that about right, do you reckon? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to go in there. So if you guys have got a sensory scarf um, or if you've got a muslin cloth at home, we're just going to be using that just to do a welcome song today. So if you just have your baby um, on something nice and cushioned, so that can either be a yoga mat, a changing mat or a blanket. And if they do suffer with colic, then just make sure they're propped up right a little bit as well. She can use a cushion or if they just want to have a bit of a nosy around. So we'll start with our welcome song. So we're just going to bring the scarf over their head and their bodies. So I know that you're not going to know the words to this today, um, but feel free to try and join in at home. So it's Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Hiding behind the tree These little babies are asking you To please come out so they can play with you Mr. Sun, Sir, Mr. Golden Sun Please shine down on me So we're just going to sit cross leg now If that's not comfortable for you, you can just sit to one side so in every yoga class, we do a different breathing technique. So today, we're just going to inhale and we're just going to lift our shoulders nice and high. So we're going to bring them all the way up to our ears. And then as we exhale, we're going to come forward and then round to the right and then back to the center. So we do a big inhale. And then as we exhale, we come forward and we'll go to the left this time. So we do it one more time. So big inhale. And then exhale, we drop forward and then we go round to the right hand side. So we're just trying to get rid of any tension in our body. And now we're going to bring our hands into a prayer position and we're going to do a big inhale, stretch those hands all the way up to the ceiling. And then exhale, just let those hands drop down by the floor. So from here, we're just going to take our right arm and we're just going to bring it nice and close to our rear. And we're just going to, I'm just going to face this way just so you can see me a little bit better. And we're just going to bring it nice and close to our rear and then just drop down, down towards the left hand side. So make sure you're not collapsing into those ribs and tummy area. And then we'll just women our arms over in the opposite direction. So right hand to the floor. And then if you can, just start to look underneath your left armpit. And then we're going to come back to the centre and we're just going to drop our left ear down towards our left shoulder. 
And if you want to intensify the stretch, you're just going to take your left hand, take it over to your right ear, and then just gently pull down. And then we're just going to take our right ear down towards our right shoulder. And then again, if you want to intensify the stretch, just gently take your right hand over to your left ear. So from here, we're just going to part our legs and just have our baby between our legs. And we're just going to take a big inhale. We're going to reach behind us. So all the way to the ceiling. And then as we exhale, we're just going to run our fingers all the way from their shoulders, all the way down to their toes. So we just give them a little bit of a tickle. So big inhale. And then reach up to the ceiling. And then as we exhale, we just tickle all the way down to their toes. So we always warm baby up before yoga just to get that fluid and circulation flowing around the body. So we're just going to rub our hands together. So just create some energy and warmth between those hands. And we're going to place our hands over the shoulders and work our way down to the feet. So if you have done baby massage, it is a little bit similar to that. But obviously they are fully clothed. So just helping that blood flow around the body from the shoulders all the way down to their feet. So if you've got any nice relaxing music at home that you could put on, that would be great. If your baby likes white noise and that helps keep them settled, that's also a great one to use. And then we're just going to do outward circles on the chest, so with three or four fingers, just opening up that chest area, just releasing any mucus on that chest. And then we'll just move down to the tummy using our right hand. We're just going to do a clockwise circle around the belly button, just warming up that tummy area. Really good for trap wind, colic and constipation. Always going in a clockwise direction because this is the way the digestive system flows. And now if you just want to remove the cushion, if you have got one there, we're going to start with our hands over the shoulders. We're going to go down to the feet and we're just going to do a gentle lift and pull up onto those shoulders. So this is a really small shoulder stand. So really good for just stretching out those limbs, improving circulation around the body. And then on the final one, we're just going to hold the feet and round the ankles. Take your right hand underneath the right shoulder, left hand underneath the left shoulder, and then bring them up to your face and give them a kiss if you want to. So we're going to come up onto our feet now. So we're going to do um, a few leg exercises. So baby yoga does involve mom as well. So it's just to help um, bring a bit of exercise back into your routine and strengthen those muscles again after birth. So we're just going to hold your baby nice and close. So we're just going to take our right hand across the chest and then our left hand through. Can you see me? Just to check. Yeah. <laughs> so if your baby is still quite tiny and they're not holding their head very well, just keep them nice and close to your body. If they are holding, you can, holding their head upright, you can hold them a little bit further away. And then just make sure your feet are hip width apart and that your feet are turned out to 45 degrees. And then we're just going to drop down into a squat position. So you just want to make sure that your knees don't come over your toes. You just drop that bottom back. And then once you're here, we're just going to pause for five, Four, three, two, one, and back up. We'll do that one more time. So sit those bottoms nice and low. And then we pause here for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. So your baby probably thinks they're in a bounce, so why is she doing this? Really good to just help strengthen those legs. And then we just give those legs a little bit of a shake. And we're just going to do some swings now. So I'm just going to stand to this side so that you can see. So you're going to hold your baby away from your body. Again, if they're tiny, keep them nice and close. Bring your feet quite wide. And then we're just going to drop them between our legs. And as we do that, we're going to say the sound whoosh. So we're going to whoosh. So dropping those bottoms back again. So whoosh. And we'll do this two more times. Whoosh. And we'll do that one last time. Whoosh. And then bring them nice and close. So I did forget to mention, if you are going to be doing 
experience today with your baby, just make sure they're not fed within the last hour, or she might be seeing it again. Hopefully that won't happen. So we're going to go into tree pose now. So for this, you can either have your foot below your knee or above your knee. And then if you want to challenge yourself, you can take your opposite hand up into the air. So you just need to focus on one point. Try and focus on that breathing. Again, this might be you today, so without hand in the air. And then we're going to change sides. We'll just take the opposite foot up. So just make sure that your standing leg completely locked out. And then if you want to, you can challenge yourself and take your hand up into the air, keeping that arm nice and close to your ear. So from here, we're going to do what's called a magic move. So in yoga every week in class, we show you a different magic move, which is supposed to help settle and calm your baby. So this one's called Super Baby. So you take your right hand underneath their chest, your left hand through their legs. You're going to hold them away from your body, and then you gently just turn from side to side. So if you've ever had any really upset babies in class, or even my babies at home when they were little, this always worked. There is obviously only long you can so long you can stay in this pose. But if you find that they're really upset, it normally helps to settle them down. So we would use a bit more standing more uh, standing poses in class, but I'm gonna go down onto the floor now. I'm just gonna show you a few um, core strengthening exercises that you can do at home with your baby. So I'm going to go down to the floor with my baby. And a little bit of super baby pose. So we're just going to place our baby so their head is over my knees and their chest is resting on my shins. And then as I go back down to the floor, baby's going to come with me and then just relax those shoulders and head down to the floor. So from here, we're going to squeeze those knees and um, shoulders in towards the centre. I'm going to hold it here. For five, four, three, two, and then relax those shoulders back down to the floor. So it's really important when you squeeze into the centre that your tummy doesn't bulge up. You need to try and suck it in and then lift those shoulders and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So we're just going to place baby so that they're sitting um, on our tummy area now. And then just bring your feet so they're hip width apart. I'm going to do some pelvic tilts. So you're just supporting your baby underneath their armpits and their waist. And we're going to push those bottoms up into the air. And if you want to challenge yourself a bit further, you can come up onto those toes. So this is working your legs as well. But if not, you can just stay flat on those feet. And then once your bottom is squeezed up to the top, we're going to pause it for five, four, three, two, one, and then we slowly lower down. So we come from our upper back, middle back, lower back, and relax. So this one always reminds me of Paul on video. So now we're going to push those bottoms into the air, come up onto those toes if you want to, and then we squeeze it for five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly come down. So another core strengthening move that you can do at home with your baby sitting on your lap like this, you're just gonna take your feet up towards the ceiling. If having your legs straight is too much for you, just keep your legs bent. And you're just gonna draw a capital D. So with your right foot, you're gonna draw a capital D all the way around, back to the center and back up. So we go all the way round, down to the floor, and back up. So we just keep doing that. And we're just going to do this a couple of times on each side. Yeah, and if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you just straighten that leg a little bit more. But if it's too much, just keep those legs bent. So we just do four on each side now. 
So really important to try and draw that belly button in, keep that lower back down towards the floor, and just do what's comfortable for you today. We just do one more on each side. And I'm relax these feet down to the floor. So we're just going to come up into a seated position now. So I'm just going to show you a couple of exercises that you can do whilst you're over your baby. So this helps to keep them entertained as well. And if you have got any flashing lights that you can put on the ceiling, and um, any baby lights at home, that's uh, also really helpful. So one of the poses that we do in class is downward dog. So this is really good anti-aging pose. So we stay in this quite long. So we're going to take our hands over the shoulders. You might want to tie your hair up for this so it doesn't get grabbed. And we're just going to bend at the knees. And we're just going to warm up those legs. So the important thing here is to just draw that belly button in. Bring those bottoms up. And now just push those heels down towards the floor. It doesn't matter if your heels are here, but just make sure you're trying to push those heels down towards the mat. And then from here, we're just gonna take our left foot up into the air, into three-legged dog, and then just bend it. So we're just opening out those hips. And then slowly bring that foot down to the floor, and then same on the other side. Make sure you bring the heel down to the floor, bend at the knee, and then twist out in the opposite direction. And then slowly bring that foot down to the floor, onto your knees, and then just stretch those arms forward into child's pose. So one last exercise that you can do to just help strengthen your upper body. So especially like the back of your arms. Just over the top of your baby, you're just going to take your hands either side of the shoulders in a box position and just keep your elbows tucked in. So the most important thing here is they're nice and close to your body, they're not out here. And then if you want to make it a bit harder, you can drop your hips forward, but if not, you can stay here. So we just uh, bring our weight down into our arms whilst you're at the bottom. You can give your baby a kiss if you want to. So we're just working the back of those arms a problem area for lots of people and it's really important to do this really nice and slow this is not mean that your muscles are having to work a lot harder and again if you want to make it harder just come onto the front of those legs and just bring that weight forward so just do whatever's right for you And then we'll come up onto our knees. And we're just gonna end with a, a back bend today. So we're just gonna place our hands at the base of our spine with our fingers facing down towards the floor. We're just gonna push that chest out and then just drop that head back. So we really need to squeeze those glutes together. So we're protecting that lower back. This is really good for digestion and also strengthening that lower back area, which can be a problem area after pregnancy. And then we'll release the lower back, so we just drop the bottom down to the floor, and then just stretch those arms forward. So, if you have enjoyed um, what I've shown you today, um, you can check out our page on Facebook, which is the Little Sensory Co. Um, at the minute, um, we are doing online classes, um, and these are donation-based, so you can choose what you pay for the classes. Um, there is four different classes that you can join on to as well. Um, and I'll hand you back uh, over to Jade. Thanks so much for having me today. Really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed it. Um, any questions, just let me know. Thank you for that much, Mom. You know, I didn't realise how much the mum got involved in baby yoga. I thought it was like baby massage where it was all focused on the baby, so it was quite interesting to learn as well, but you made it look very easy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Modest now. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know if my mums would find it easy, but I was watching thinking, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> but um, just to quickly ask you on the age ranges for the baby, um, is it up to any age or an age you would recommend? or? Um, so with baby yoga, we usually say from six weeks to pre-crawling, because um, as soon as they're crawling, it can get quite difficult. Um, but we are starting to offer toddler classes as well, so we'll be doing that age soon as well. Um, yeah, thank you for that. There's no questions that come in. Um, Sarah said that was fab, thank you. A lot of people joined, so hopefully let us know if you joined in or if you're planning to do it later on, if your babies play ball, because I know they don't always play ball. Yeah, yeah that's the hard part. <laughs> but uh, we'll leave this video on so you can look back any time. Um, and like Roxanne said, she's doing the page you can classes, which I think that's a really good idea at a time like this. If people are losing their jobs or on furlough or something, then it's they can still do something with just whatever they can pay so good idea um yeah any questions pop them there um roxanne's in the group so i'm sure you'll be happy to answer them as a comment instead of a live hope you all enjoyed it um let us know if you took part or what your baby thought of it and i'll see you all tomorrow thank you roxanne okay thank you see you later Bye. bye